Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. So I want to take a look at a physics 2 problem and how to calculate the electric field, the magnitude and direction um, specifically of the electric field. All right, so we have this metal sphere, right? And this is the image here that we're given. So this is right here, the origin. So it started off here and now a magnetic field was applied to it and made it move this many degrees to the right, right, 17.4, right? It has a length of the rope or the cord holding it of L and it's negatively charged. So we're given the mass of the sphere, we're given the length of this cord and we're given the charge of the sphere. So it's negatively charged and it's 1.11 microcoulombs. So the micro is times 10 to the negative six. And then it made an angle of 17.4 uh, degrees. And we wanna know what the magnitude and direction have to be of the electric field in order for this to move 17 degrees to the right, being negatively charged. Okay, so first, Let's take a look at this free body diagram. All right, so we have an angle in here. All right, and for now I'm just gonna write angle, but we know it's 17.4, all right? We feel tension from the rope going in this direction, right? Because if it's being pulled this way, then the only thing holding it from not coming off or moving more is gonna be the tension on this rope. So we got tension here and then what we want to do is break that up into components. So this is going to be labeled as tension, right? Going up. And so we're going to label this side here opposite of our hypotenuse. So we got T, let's do T sine theta. Okay, and this is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we're going to have T cosine theta and that represents this entire side here. Okay, so we got those two things. Now we got to take a look at what's pushing this this way, right? There's a force that's attracting, right? There's a force that is being felt in this direction. So electric force is gonna be in this direction because that's the direction that it's moving in. So we put a vector there for that. And then naturally everything always has mass times gravity going downward. All right, so perfect. We have here our free body diagram. Okay, just from this free body diagram, we can actually um, see where the direction of the electric field is. All right, so again, I'm gonna draw my angle in here. All right, we have tension and for this one, I'm just gonna leave it kind of blank so just to show. All right, so if we have a negative charge that is being pushed this way, right? Force, electric force. That means that there has to be positive charge along this side because the negative and the positive attract each other. And so there must be positive charge on this side and there must be negative charge on this side, repelling the the metal sphere, right? Negative and negative oppose each other, so it doesn't want to be here. It wants to be with a positive friend over here. All right, so, and then we know electric field lines go from positive to negative. So we're gonna draw electric field lines going like that. Okay, and so this tells us the direction of the electric field. So just from doing the free body diagram, we can deduce that much, okay? So this right here answers this question for the direction. And now let's find the strength of that electric field in order for it to move exactly 17.4 degrees with this specific charge. All right, so we're gonna do the sum of forces, all right? Just like uh, in physics one, 
So we're gonna do the sum of forces in the X. Okay, and then underneath that, we're gonna do the sum of forces in the Y. All right, so let's take a look at the sum of forces in the X. So here, right, we're gonna, sh we're gonna say that um, left and right is X. So this is positive X, right? And this is negative X. And so then up and down is Y. Positive Y and then downward is negative Y. All right, so in the X direction, we got the force electric, which is positive. So we got Fe, all right? Then we got opposing the gravitational and the tension, um, just the tension, tension and sine theta. Okay, so we got minus T sine theta and everything is equal to zero because right now it's not moving, it's just static right there. And so we make it equal to zero because nothing's happening. And then we solve. So we're gonna just put the force electric is gonna be equal to T sine theta. And we're gonna hold that there for a minute. Okay, we'll label this one. Then we have, let's see, then we have here um, in the Y direction, right? We have up going this direction. We could put that here. So that's T cosine of theta. So we got T cosine of theta. And then going down is mass times gravity. And again, everything is in equilibrium. And so we make it equal to zero. So we could solve mg equals t cosine theta. Okay, so everything's positive because this goes on that side. All right, so, and we'll label this two. Okay, so now let's take, so this section here is done, all right? Now let's move on to the next section. We're gonna use this number one and number two, and we're gonna just place this one on top and this one on the bottom. So we're gonna divide, all right? So let's put sine over cosine, which is gonna make tangent. The T's cancel out. Okay, so now we're gonna do T sine theta, which is this, over T cosine theta, right? So T sine theta is force electric and T cosine theta is mg. Okay, so the T's cancel out. And on this side, you're gonna have tangent. Okay, and so let's take a look we have, let's solve for the force, the electric force. So here we have tangent, right? And let's move this mg over to the left side. So we have mg and we're left with the force electric. Okay, so again, we're just gonna hold that here and we'll actually label this three. Okay, so now let's see what we use. So. We can do, let's see. Okay, using, we're gonna use the force electric is equal to E, which is the electric field times the charge, okay? And if we rearrange that, we have E is equal to force electric over the charge. So E is what we're looking for. So this is a good formula to have right now. All right, so now let's take a look at what we're missing. Okay, we have force electric, which is mg tangent theta. And we have all these values. We have gravity, mass, and the angle. So we're good on the top, and we have the charge on the bottom. And so, I think we're pretty much ready to go. So let's solve for E, okay? And let's do that over here. So now we have E 
that we got from here, right, equals Fe, the force electric, which we solved here. That's going to be mg tangent theta, right, on top, over Q on the bottom. All right, and so because it's the magnitude, right, we're going to keep the positive Q because we just want to know the strength. We already have the direction here. And so if we plug in the numbers, okay, let's say we have might be kind of tight here but all right let's let's put in the mass which is 12.3 12.3 we got gravity 9.8 and we got tangent of 17.4 okay so let's check if that's right okay so now here we have 12.3 grams, all right? And so this is a this is a place where, you know, you, you mess up on an exam. We have to convert this into kilograms. And so the way we do that is, let's see, we could just write M is equal to 12.3 times 10 to the negative three kilograms. Okay, and we need it in kilograms because you can't multiply gravity times grams because gravity is in meters per second squared and if you multiply it by kilograms then you get the proper units you can't you can't multiply it by just uh, grams alone okay so always multiply or rearrange when you see grams or centimeters but in this case we didn't we didn't even need this length this is kind of just to throw you off and you'll have that in, in a couple problems. And so here we got 12.3, and I'm gonna put an arrow that says times 10 to the negative three. Sorry, that's gonna look pretty ugly, but it's up here. So 12.3 times 10 to the negative three kilograms. That's what we have here for the mass. Gravity stays the same, tangent of 17.4. And then underneath, okay, we're gonna make another change here all right, so we're gonna say that Q is equal to negative 1.11 and micro is times 10 to the negative six coulombs. Okay, so we also need everything in coulombs, no micro coulombs, no other type of units. And so the, on the bottom, we're gonna have 1.11 times 10 to the negative six coulombs. And so now we have the units for electric field and I'm gonna circle this. I'm gonna write the answer on this other side over here. And so this is the answer right here. And let's write the final answer over here. So electric field strength, the magnitude of the electric field strength is gonna be 3.4 times 10 to the fourth. All right, newtons per coulomb. And this is the magnitude of the electric field strength that was needed in order to push this sphere out 17.4 degrees, right? The electric field direction is gonna be positive to negative because negative and positive attract, okay? And the strength of this, so this arrows have all of these orange arrows have a strength of this. So this is the magnitude, okay? All right, so if this was helpful, guys, please subscribe and comment below if you wanna see any particular videos, all right?